gospel is so freaking awesome that it's got to be shocking. And if it's not shocking, you're not getting it. Paul said, it's totally different than what Peter was saying. Peter thought that you had to fear God and do works of righteousness. Paul was, it was revealed to Paul by Jesus himself that what I was doing on the cross is a work of God that has nothing to do with the behavior of any human being. Amen. It was that God so loved humanity that he was going to send Jesus as the Son of God and the Son of Man. He was going to represent humanity. And when he fulfilled the law, humanity fulfilled the law. When he died, we died. When he was raised, we were raised. And now we are new creations. Amen. Now, in this new creation, all things are passed away. Listen, the law of Moses should never, ever, even get near the new creation. That's what's sucking the life out of Christians. It's sucking the... Peter and Paul, they both said it. Listen, why are we trying to put this yoke on these guys that neither we nor our fathers could ever bear? <laughs> they said that. Why are we trying to do that? And here we are 2,000 years later, and it's still the freaking same. We are arguing over it. How much of the law of Moses is to be mixed into the gospel of grace? And I'm telling you, none. None. Now, that will freak you out if you are secure in your righteousness based upon your ability to please God by the things that you do. But teaching the law, which has been a total failed experiment in the sight of God, he's showing us none, none of us could keep it. That now us trying to play like we're keeping it is such a a poke in his eye, number one. It's such a waste of time, number two. It's such a uh, departure from the gospel of grace that we have turned the body of Christ into a religious business, and now we have 40 million denominations, each doing their own thing with their own agenda. Different levels of teaching the law of Moses. Now, this is what Paul said in Romans 16. Look at verse 25. Now unto him, he has the power to establish you. But that is according to my gospel. Now, what is his gospel? He defines it right here. The preaching of Jesus Christ. Well, everyone preaches Jesus Christ. Well, he qualifies that. It's the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery. What is the gospel of grace for today? It's the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the mystery. In other words, if you ever are preaching Jesus or you're hearing Jesus and it's not going through that lens of the finished work of Jesus, you're not hearing the gospel. You're not hearing the gospel. It's already finished. And if you don't know it's already finished, then you're going to try and finish it. And if you're trying to finish it, you're in religion. And you're giving yourself the heart 